आर यू अ स्टूडेंट और अ वर्किंग प्रोफेशनल हु इज लुकिंग फॉर अ ग्रेट करियर इन सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट देन यू हैव टू थिंक अबाउट द एक्सपेक्ट्स लाइक वट इज इ ट्रेंडिंग टेक्नोलॉजी इन द इंडस्ट्री एंड द काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन बिंग आज इन एन इंटरव्यू और हाउ टू इम्प्रूव योर कोर्स ऑफ रैंकिंग इफ यू आर लाइक दिस देन दिस अन अकेडमी सब्सक्रिप्शन ऑफ करियर एज अ सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपर इज डेफिनेटली फॉर यू Our hosts are working with some of the top companies like Google and Amazon. They will walk you through their own industry experience and interact with the lot of guests like HR and industry leaders of top companies where they will ask questions raised by you. We will be covering a lot of content that will benefit your career. Like in live episodes you get an opportunity to ask tech HRs about top 20 interview questions and industry leaders directly about their recruitment process in startups or MNCs. Guys, even you get your resume and your projects improved by getting them reviewed by the expert SDEs. You can learn about cloud computing, blockchain, top interview questions and get placement tips and hacks under this career as a software developer subscription of an academy. Have you ever thought about how college students become tech leaders like Sundar Pichai, Satya Nadella? This is your chance to listen to top tech leaders from top companies and understand how these companies work, what are their projects and how they solve big problems. Join this show to get deeper understanding of the entire tech ecosystem. Now, what is it that you will not find on YouTube? You will get a chance to ask your questions live while interacting with top tech leaders who are making a difference. In this sh- show, Somajit will interview tech leaders about their journeys, interesting project they are working on and also the structure of the teams in their respective companies. If you are interested, the link is given in the description box. Hi guys welcome to code bashers guys in this video we will be discussing that how we have to explain our project to the interviewer guys recently only many of you have commented on my videos that you want me to make this type of video so guys here i am with this video so in this video what we'll do we will in the first half of this video we will see that how we have to explain our project to the interviewer step by step and in the second half of the video what we will do see once you have explained your project to the interviewer now there will be certain questions that will be asked from you by the interviewer so in the second half of this video we will be discussing the most commonly asked interview questions about the project by an interviewer so as make sure that you watch this video till the end because this video can be slightly long but i guarantee you that after watching this video you will have lot more clarity on how you have to explain your project to the interviewer and what all questions you can expect from the interviewer so guys now let's start this video and before starting a video please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel okay so guys for better understanding i will be explaining you with the help of this sample project so now let us assume that we all have built this food delivery website and we this is our project and we have to explain this project to the interviewer so how we will be explaining it step by step okay so first of all while explaining the project now first thing is what is your project about now for any project this will be your first thing that you have to tell the interviewer that what is your what is your project about now here is the sample answer for this food delivery app or or you can say website i have a built i have built a food delivery website where people can easily order food from their favorite restaurants in this website i have provided the list of restaurants with their menu and i have also added an option of online payment so guys first of all st- while starting about your project you just have to give two to three lines about your project like what is the main idea idea of your project and what is your project doing so this is the first point that you will have to explain about your project so this can be one to two to three lines maximum okay now once you have explained this next is what was your motivation behind this project or what problem you solved by this project now here is a, again a sample answer now the motivation behind this project is that at present every time people have to travel to restaurants and there are very few chances that they get f- food delivered at their homes second problem is that people doesn't get much variety in choosing from restaurants so now i am since i am explaining a food delivery website so we can assume that at present there is no zomato there is no swiggy so let us assume that now let's just see that what were the problems when there were no such apps so these were very good problems every time people have to travel to restaurants every time people doesn't get much variety in choosing from restaurants and this is the problem that i am solving from my project so the second point that you have to tell to the interviewer that what was your motivation behind this project and what was the problem that you actually solved so first you will have to tell the problem and then you will have to tell that the website i have built or the project i have built solves all these problems and we can food we can order food with some clicks only by sitting just at our homes so this is the second point that you will have to include in your project while explaining it to the interviewer now the third point that you will have to include while explaining the project is the technology stack that you have used in the project because see you have told the project 
now you have told that what your project is about now you will have to give the details that what all technologies you have used while building this project so again there is a sample answer for this food delivery website now as this is a full stack project for front end i have used html css bootstrap etc now for back end i have used javascript node js etc for database i have used sql mongodb etc so all these things all the technologies that you have used you will have to tell to the interviewer so if you are having a machine learning project you can tell the algorithms that you have used now if you are having the android project or certain other project you can tell the interviewer about the you can tell the interviewer about the interfaces that you have used or uh, the built in libraries that you have used so all these things you will have to tell to the interviewer that what all technology has been used in the project for making it up okay so this is the third point that you will have to include in your project while explaining to the interviewer now the last point only four points are there while you are explaining to the in, uh, your project to the interviewer now the la last point here is workflow of your project that how how we can access the project how we can access this product that we have built now again let's take a sample answer for this food delivery website only like after opening website the user will have to log in himself using the phone number or email id after logging in the google maps api will track his location and it will show the user the restaurants near to his house so we are telling here that how our project is working activity by activity we are explaining it okay now the user can select the restaurants of his cho choice and the menu will appear in front of him of that particular restaurants which he chose now user can add items to the cart and later can place order with multiple payment options of his choice like we have added cash on delivery we have added debit card we have added multiple payment options in our project so all these things how your project is actually working you have to tell to the interviewer now the, i know that there uh, there can be certain complex projects there can be certain easy projects so there can be projects where multiple activities are involved so you will have to explain each and every activity in detail but i suggest you you try to do not go in any technical aspects of that particular activity like how this google map api is working so if the interviewer asks you this question then only you will have to tell him just do not just while you are explaining the project by yourself just do not include any major technical aspects because when if you include more technical aspects there are high chances that the interview will ask you that how that thing is happening and if you are not so sound about that technology then there are high chances that you will give the answer wrong and it will put a very bad impression on the interviewer so you while explaining your project just give the major brief about your project explain each and every activity of your project explain the workflow in detail but try not to go in detail of the technology that you have used how you have used it if the interview ask you then only tell him that how we have built this activity by what li what library we have used and what all is the technical working behind it so this is the workflow for uh, entire project and this was the sample answer for this project so guys your while you are explaining the, your project to the interviewer maximum 2 to 3 minutes he will give you while you have, while you have to explain so make sure to include all these points step by step and give the answer properly so these these were the four points you have to keep in mind when you are giving when you are explaining your project to the interviewer so this first half of this video is over now we will see that what are the commonly asked interview questions that you can expect from the interviewer now you have explained your project to the interviewer now it is his chance of asking the questions related to the project so now let's see the questions that he can ask okay so guys first of all the technology related questions can be asked from you yes the the technology that you have used in your project guys you must be aware of that technologies because the questions can be asked related to that technology from the interviewer like if you have done the if you have done the project in machine learning then he can ask you questions like what is linear regression why you have used the linear regression how the how linear regression works so these type of questions on the technology can be asked from you the technology that you have used in the project so make sure that you are aware of that technology and all the things on all the activities that you have used in that particular project so make sure that you are you are well aware of the things that you have used in the project and guys again if you have a project on python machine learning java dbms c++ and you want to know that what are the commonly asked questions in such subjects in interviews so i will give the link of that playlist in the description box and in the i button make sure to visit that playlist and watch all the important topics as per your subjects and prepare your topics based on those videos these were the first type of questions that can be asked from the interviewer so make sure to prepare your technology very well now 
the second type of questions that can be asked from you were what were the challenges faced during the project and how you overcame these so again this type of question can be asked now guys do not say that you do not have not faced any challenges during doing the project because if you have not faced any challenges it means that the building the project was a piece of cake for you and you have not learned anything out of that project so again if we talk about our sample project that we are using in this video so you can say that storing the data storing the users information was big, big, biggest challenge we faced and how we have overcame them how we have overcame them we have bought the servers we have bought the databases we have done several things so that we can store all the day all the information of the users so again mention at least two to three challenges that you have faced during the project please mention them and do not say that you have not faced any challenge during the project and if you are telling them challenges again and if you have now you are explaining the project it means that you have overcame those challenges so please tell them the process that how you have overcame the, the challenges you have faced so i hope this question is clear to you okay now the next question will be what was your role in the project guys there are different type of projects like you have built solo you have built the entire project yourself you were in the team in which that project is built so prepare the uh, this answer as per your project like if you are, you were solo then you must know every every detail of that project that how how the things are working and how you have managed to build that project what all resources you have used what all things what all free resources you can you have used so all these things you must know and you have to explain everything in detail to the interviewer and if you have built a, a project in group so guys please do not if if there is an activity that has not been done by you in the project please do not say that that they, i do not know how this activity is working because this activity was done by my colleague because it will put a very bad impression because this is your project even if you have not coded or if you if, if even if you have not done that activity yourself then also you must be aware of the technology that have been used in that activity or the things that have been used in that particular activity and you will have to explain each and everything of your project to the interviewer when he asks irrespective of the fact whether you have done it done the activity yourself or your colleague has done it so again make sure that you know the working of entire projects and entire activities of that projects okay now the next question that can be asked is the what is the future scope of this project so guys see now you have built this project you have solved certain problems but again if you have only solved the problems that are coming today this means that this particular project the validity of this will, uh, this particular project will be for 1 to 2 years maximum because after 2 years new problems will come new new solutions have to be built so using this project only how we how what is the future scope of this project how in future this project can help us so again you can say if if, if we take the example of above project you can say that in this pandemic situation we can deliver essentials just like we are delivering food we can deliver essentials door to door because in this pandemic we are not allowed to go outside so it will really help in stopping the spread of virus and we can deliver the essentials door by door so this is this can be one of the future scope of this particular project again please find a future scope for your project you can find them on internet you can study yourself and how you have and you can think for yourself that how this project will be beneficial in future so again never say no to any question whenever asked about the project if you will say no that i do not know the future scope then it it is also putting a very bad impression on the interviewer so make sure to prepare all these points that i have mentioned in this video four points and how you have to explain the project to the interviewer plus or uh, prepare all these questions that can be asked from you by the interviewer because 90% if you have covered these particular topics 90% of your project related interview is over and you will not have to worry so guys this was it for this video i hope this video will help you in preparing for your projects and how you have to explain this project to the interviewer so guys if you like this video if you find found it informative please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel and guys thank you for watching this video